Yep. Car wash time. Almost done actually. <laughs> See, it's gotten so dirty from the winter, it's all salty and stuff. Good old girl though. What's up guys? So, uh, wow, that's really bright, isn't it? So I'm in a loaner right now from BMW. I got a, I actually got a pretty cool uh, loaner. I didn't think I'd get something this cool. Um, I mean, I think it's cool. And it's actually a car I was really skeptical about at first, uh, which is the BMW 428i Grand Coupe. Yeah, Coupe. It actually, but you know, after a while it really grew on me and I think it, it's a really good looking car. Although, in my humble opinion, I think it should be a 328i Grand Coupe. It's really still a 3 Series. Technically it's a 328i <coughs> with a coupe roof line. But, uh, the interior in here is actually, you can tell it's a little bit updated. Yeah, I can tell the, uh, the... You know the display and the iDrive is a lot quicker it's a lot uh, more intuitive um, yeah and just subtle updates I can tell like the graphics on the, the display here like these graphics are updated for your temperature and things like that um, the iDrive this is a lot quicker now it seems like at least obviously because it's probably new but like I noticed too, navigation uh, is, it looks updated too, it looks different. Um, so, looks like it zooms in and out a lot quicker. It's just a, a updated look, it looks pretty nice in here. Sorry for if there's any glare. Um, yeah, and then this new iDrive knob over here, this is new. With I don't think it's actually touched. You know, you can get it as an option or something. Besides that, it's basically the same. It's a dark interior with the wood trim. Nice um, dark wood trim. Um, and it's got the paddle shifters. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Really, the, the big thing is the outside, how it looks on the outside. Alright guys, so here's the outside. 428 Grand Coupe. It's a really nice gray color got the angel eyes on it and I think it's a pretty good looking car I think it sits a little bit high I don't know if that's because of the x-drive but it's got the nice wheels I don't know if those are the M wheels or not I kind of stopped paying attention to all that stuff but I think it's a cool looking car Again, I really like the color. Cool wheels. It's got that cool slit right here too. Yeah, the uh, 428 engine feels pretty good actually. Um, it's got a nice giddy up. Compared to when I had the X1 loaner, I, I don't know if it's just because the X1 was heavier, um, but I mean this thing is really has a get up and go, even in comfort mode. Um, eco mode, I'm not even going to talk about because nobody cares. Um, yeah, I think it's a good looking car. I dig it. Also, you know, it's got the frameless windows, so when you open the door, the window kind of so that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah it's really cold so I just want to show you guys before uh, it started snowing and the, the car got all dirty again all right
right guys, so I just picked up my 335i from service and holy crap, does it feel damn good. Um, it just feels like a brand new car. I mean, it feels tight. It feel, the steering feels tighter. I don't know if they like remapped the throttle or something. I'm in comfort mode, but it, I mean, before it seemed like it changed the gear a lot quicker in comfort mode, and now it's kind of holding that first second gear kind of longer, in my opinion at least. Um, I mean, the car just feels so good. I don't know how else to explain it. Well put together after service, I did have the fuel injection injectors cleaned as well, which as I said was a $499 uh, expense. However, uh, the the service tech was nice enough to give me 10% off. I don't know if that's standard or not or something, but uh, overall my entire bill was $532. So they gave me the works. They uh, got the recall done, which I forgot exactly. It's like the oil pump housing or some crap like that. And as, as I mentioned in the video before, or earlier in the video, uh, there was a recall in, in my car I mean, I brought it in just in time because it actually started leaking already. And it, you know, the mechanics show me you know, the, the oil pretty much is leaking out of there and stuff. So perfect timing. Um, but I just could not be happier with the service, I got to admit. I mean, it, the car just feels really good. Uh, I'm going to, when I get home, I'm going to read over exactly what, what else they did. I know they changed out the wipers. They know they gave me brand new wipers as well. Um... So that, that's really nice. I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I mean, when I brought it in as well, he said, he said they're going to pretty much do everything they got to do um, in regards to the factory warranty since my warranty expires this month. So my factory warranty. Um, so he said they're going to go over the car, you know, change everything they got to change. I think they gave me an oil change because uh, <coughs> the the computer's reading that uh, I don't have to change it for another 10,000 miles, so thank you very much for changing my oil. Um, I don't know if they changed the front brakes again, but it says 28,000 miles before I gotta change them. Uh, and then my back brakes, I don't think they touched because it says 4,000 miles like before. So, But I mean, the car just, man, it just feels really good. So, yeah, thanks for, uh, you know, staying tuned and watching unfortunately we have disgusting weather here uh it's snowy it was fun having the 428i grand coupe for a little bit but i'm glad to have my car back it just feels really good so yeah we'll go over the sheet in a second here hold on okay so here's the sheet that uh shows what the guys did at the bmw dealer Oil filter housing, the recall, that was done. Um, they replaced the oil filter module. They put new O-rings, an oil filter screw plug, ASA bolts, set of profile gaskets, gasket engine oil, cooler lines, ignition coils. Um, and then the cover ring, uh, I don't know if that's what they're talking about, but they, they told me that they had to put a new engine cover because the engine cover is bigger now due to the replacement of the oil filter module housing. Uh, I think this is my my uh, loaner vehicle stuff and here's the wiper blades at the bottom. They replaced my wiper blades. That was free. Here is my total. They uh, also recommended rear diff service and uh, coolant flush which would have brought me over in addition to the fuel injector cleaning. So the fuel injector cleaning alone was like 400 some dollars um, and they you know they wanted me to do the rear differential service and the coolant flush but that would have brought me over to around 700 some dollars and there's simply no way I was gonna pay that at that time. So yeah I was told I paid way too much just to have the fuel injectors cleaned but you know, all in all I'm happy with what they did Everything else was free under warranty. So that's that. So thank you guys for watching and till next time.